Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? You know, every now and again, the UPS guy comes by and he brings me a present. <laughs> the, uh, the good guys over at JCA Enterprises have come out with a new circle cutter. And I saw them online and thought, now that is really cool. So they sent me one to demo. That's really a cool, simple little design. They have the hole for the torch head. And this is for your oxygen acetylene rig. No. A little set screw, a little locking screw for your adjustment for where your, where your point is. And then on the back side, it's got this little saddle that actually cradles the torch body itself. So when you put it all together, it just fits just like that. This is for cutting circles or radii, you know, if you want to like round off the corner of a plate rather than cut out the whole circle. Uh, you know, once you get it all set, you get your, get your radius wherever you want it. You lock down your little set or your little lock lever right there. And you're good to go. That looks simple. That looks real simple. It's really, really easy. And the nice thing is, this also comes with an attachment for your plasma cutter. Fits right in the same hole that the torch body goes into. Kind of locks in place. All you have to do is bore out the hole to the correct size for your plasma cutter. You know, they're trying to come up with a set of bushings to fit every single one on the market. Screw up. Just bore it out to fit your machine. So I haven't got that far yet. I just got it. So, heck, let's, let's burn up a piece of one inch over here and see how it works. Before you do, how does this uh, compare to the circle cutter that you usually use on your plasma cutter? Totally different. To oh, great question. Totally, totally different setup. This is the one I normally use with a bushing that will take the, uh, that will take the head on the plasma cutter. So that just goes on, goes on with three set screws locks that in place and then you've got this little adapter ring that would normally just fit on and go on with a snap ring so it can't fall off and then this one comes with a set of training wheels it also has a little adapter that would go on that would move the wheels down farther for like when you're working on pipe or you know, some curved piece or something you know just just to give you a little more space in there and then the circle attachment would just screw in where the wheels would normally fit. This one's kind of cool in that you've got the, the little training wheel on the, on the little adapter ring on your, your plasma torch or on your oxygen acetylene torch to help get some of the wiggle out, you know, any, any kind of little shake up. So you get, your, you get a nice smooth curve that way. But you got this darn rod sticking out everywhere. And even if you put it on the same as this would fit on the oxygen acetylene torch, there's nothing supporting it back in here. You know, there's nothing supporting it here, so it's a little wiggly. It's not quite as smooth as you would think it would be. I like this guy. I think this is kind of cool. It's a nice design. It's got a little, uh, it's got a little set screw in here for your point, so you can raise it or lower it if you want. You can also turn it 180 degrees. This rig will work from a one inch circle all the way out to a 26 inch circle. Well, it's, it's a lot more solid. You don't have quite as many parts to lose. You know, I, I think I'll just go ahead and I'll bore this, this little plasma adapter out to fit my torch and I'll play with it a little bit and see how that works. Let's go ahead and hook it up and we'll burn a piece and see how it works. So I put my cutting table up and got just a piece of one inch plate so what I want to do is I'll just go ahead and put it on the torch click it in place and then I can adjust my radius with a little roller lock it in place and I like to check it <laughs> Because I've cut things off too short way too many times. And that'll work just fine. So let me go ahead and put my gear on and we'll fire it up.
that's pretty. That, that's nice. I, I like that. It's a little weird to get used to, but once you get your balance just right, you know, get the hose up out of the way so you're not catching on things, that's a nice, nice little setup. This will be a, a really handy addition to the, the box of tools. <laughs> so I'm going to play a little bit more. We'll see you guys next time.